Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to show you guys this Big Shot Sizzix Switch. So this is the pink one that I got. Oh my gosh, sorry guys for the shakiness. Um, it's the Big Shot Switch Plus and this is an electronic die cutting machine for all of your metal dies. So if you are into die cutting, you guys, you don't have to do that hand cranking thing anymore which is so great. Second thing to note, it is pink. This is from scrapbook.com. I'm gonna have a link down below in case you guys wanna get one. It is currently in stock. I don't know for how long, cause the first time it sold out within like the hour, um, but it, it, it is back in stock right now. So I will have it linked down below, trying to get this video done as quick as possible so you guys know about it. Um, if you're looking for like a peach colored one, you could get a peach colored one from Hobby Lobby, but I will warn you that it is very bright peach. Um, but this pink one is like a nice light pink color um, and it's perfect. It matches my craft room. It is so great. I love it. Um, if you guys could see here, it, like it matches my pegboards. You guys could kind of see a little bit over there. Um, yeah, this is just like a weird angle. I'm trying to show you guys everything in because we're going to be doing some die cutting. So that's so fun. All right. Let me show you guys a couple of things that this came with. So it came with a 3D embossing folder. This is some hearts here. Um, embossing folder. It came with these dies, which kind of look like uh, layering flower dies and some butterflies and some leafy bits, which I think I'm really going to enjoy these kinds of leafy bits right there. Um, it came with this one here, like a decorative piece that you could put on a card. And it also came with this um, one, two, three, four hexagon here, six sides, which is a hexagon, and it's like a nesting hexagon die. So it came with those three dies as well as the embossing folder. It also came with your two kind of like sandwich plates. If you guys are familiar with die cutting, you know exactly what those are for. This is also for cutting here. Um, a lot of people have been recommending to get the magnetic plate. So I might have to do that. And then here is the other for embossing plate. But when you die cut, you use all of these like together um, like that. And for embossing, you take off this top one. So let's do a couple of like test kind of things and we'll do a lot of die cutting together. Again, I did want to just show you guys um, this die cutting machine because it is currently in stock. I don't want you guys to miss out and you guys could click the link in the description box down below at any point in this video if you guys are interested in purchasing one. All right, so let's get started. All right, so for this video, I also might use my magnetic platform. I'm gonna get the bigger one as well, but the magnetic platform just allows you to place your dies on here and it's magnetized. So it kind of stays in place wherever you want it. You don't have to use tape. Um, for the first couple of bits, I cut up a piece of paper. I will show you the embossing first, just cause I have that out here. So I'm gonna turn this on. We've never done this before, but we're gonna do it together. I'm gonna put in my paper in here going to use the one that it came with even though I do have these 3D kind of um, uh, embossing folders as well. All right so for embossing what does it say to do? I'm trying to look at the directions at the same time. All right so it looks like I'm going to be well let me take this down first because where else is it going to go right? Okay so we're going to put this down then we're going to make our sandwich. So you're going to put this down gonna put this down there and then make your other sandwich on top and I don't really know how this works I suppose you just like push it in there oh wow all right that doesn't seem right guys Okay, hold on, time out. I think I did something wrong already. Oh my gosh, you made a mark. All right, um, textured impressions. What did I do wrong? Maybe it's just supposed to be this, but it says that was for embossing. I'm so confused. I'm not trying to kill my machine here either. That's not right. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Oh, I'm 
not supposed to use that second sandwich. All right, so for the 3D ones, like so, you're only supposed to use it the one sandwich. All right, I ran it through, it's going in by itself. All right, and I'm gonna take it out on the back side. All right, let's see what that looks like. Okay, and we've got my 3D embossed kind of image here. Don't mind my paper. My cutter didn't really like cutting this, but there we go. Look how beautiful that is, right? I should cut that down and make it pretty and then just add this to a card and there you go. So that is the 3D textured impressions. It all tells you like kind of how to do this. I just wasn't reading it, but the 3D textured impressions tells you to just use this magnetic pad. You have the um, embossing folder and one of the plates for regular, or I guess it tells you like for regular ones, you use the double plate but for the 3d use one plate all right so we almost killed my machine there but it's fine so we did the embossing all right guys so we got our embossing done you guys saw how beautiful that turned out um minus the mishap that we made i'm gonna be using my magnetic plate right now i'm gonna have the linked one down below that is for this machine that's a little bit wider i think they have one otherwise i'll link this one but i believe they do and i'm gonna need to get it but this is a magnetic platform so that when i put down a paper on here and then i put down a die which i'm just gonna put down a couple and i'm just doing gold foil i'm gonna make some little leafy bits because these always come in handy to have in my stash so they just stick down there you see how it kind of also like flattens out the paper because they stick to um the magnetic platform and you don't need tape on that which is really helpful um so i'm making my little sandwich here adding the other cutting mm -hmm. plate on top i'm gonna run this through and this is gonna die cut i think all right not doing anything hands are up here and it's just going by itself which is so great. I don't have to do anything. Isn't that fantabulous, guys? I don't have to um, hand crank anything. And I'm just gonna pull it out from this side. Oh, I need a little bit more space there. Okay, so note to self, move out the machine a little bit more next time I try to do this. So now this should have cut perfectly. And you guys could see here, there is my beautiful die cut. Okay, and then there's this one. Look at my beautiful die cut. So pretty. So like, I don't have to do anything. Just gonna get this separated from the paper. Look at that. Even like delicate ones, like it's so great. So you could do this with a ton of different dies. So that was just like a regular, like cheapo AliExpress one. And I'm going to show you guys one more because I want to try the really thick dies. Um, they're the biggest dies, so we're going to try that in a second. Um, but yeah, you could use the regular decorative strip dies, sizzlet dies, framelit dies, thinlet dies, wafer thin dies. You could use all the different kinds of things. So that's just like a regular die. I showed you the 3D embossing. You could do regular embossing. And let's just do one more with the Biggs die, and I'll show you guys what those look like. All right, guys, so I have a Biggs die here. This is another one from AliExpress. If you guys could see, this is a bow. Um, and for the sake of showing you guys different um, materials, let's use like a fabric kind of material. So let's see what this one says to do. You use the cutting pad, the die, the paper, and uh, a crease pad. No. Okay, I don't think I need um these this base with the big die because the big dies are really thick. If you guys could see, they're like the thickness of that, so you don't need this base piece. All right, so I'm just gonna make my sandwich like this. Okay, I'm going to let's do it like I think I'm using fabric, so this is like 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 a ribbon fabric, glittery and everything. So I'm gonna put this down this way, and I want that to cut into that. 
and then I'll sandwich this right on. Okay, and let's try running this through. Nope, that's not working. Okay, all right, so the Bigs die didn't really work with the other um, plates. It shows that you should have like these kinds of plates. This is the one that came with the machine and since these are like flattened down, I think it like helps it run through the machine a little better. And I also did something wrong because I had put this face down. It's supposed to be facing up with the foam kind of facing up. So we're gonna try that this way now. And hopefully this works this time. So let's make our sandwich again. I'm sandwiching it up here and it's gonna kill my plate, but I guess we gotta do it, right? All right. All right, so I had to help it through a little bit, but it looks like it does work. Now I'm not doing anything. Oh my goodness! All right, help it out too. And I don't know, did that? Oh my gosh, see, it definitely cut into my plate. That's the one part I hate. Look at that. That's the one thing I hate. Like, that's why I didn't want to use the new plate, but it is what it is. It just happens. It's part of the territory. Um, but look how good that cut out. And this was on fabric, like my thick um, fabric. So. That worked out really well. That's all my pieces. And now what you do with this, I can make my cute little bow, which would look like this and like this. And this is like a double layer bow. So then I would actually um, glue these also. And this would go on top and it's like a cute little like double layered bow. So you guys could see. So yeah. Sorry, I'm like off camera here. Um, but it does work with the Bigs dies as well. Um, it requires a little bit of pushing through, but I mean, I don't have to hand crank or anything. And look how cute that bow is, right? And that was on material, guys. So that wasn't paper, that was my material. Look how stinking cute. So the Bigs dies also do work through this die cutting machine, which that is fantastic news. So I just wanted to share with you guys like all the different things that um, you could kind of like cut through here because it does cut everything. We did the Bigs die, we did the regular embossing folder, and then we also did the regular um, like dies that are also delicate and they cut out just fine. So that is so great and fantastic. Um, I hope you guys, if you wanted one, I hope you guys can get your hands on one. Again, they are in stock as of me filming this video, but definitely check out the link in the description box down below. I will have the pink one listed and I'll have the white one. And then when the black one comes in stock, I will link that one as well. But for now, the pink one is back in stock, but keep checking back because I'll have the links for all of them. Um, and the peach one too, I can link that one too if it's available. Um, so that is everything guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys can get one if you want one. Um, the link is down below in the description box and I will see you guys in my next crafty video. So happy crafting to all of you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.